What's up you guys? How are y'all doing today? I hope you guys are doing so so good out there. For today's video, we have a thrift store shopping haul, but Spain edition. I recently went to Spain with Jeremy to celebrate our five year wedding anniversary and we just had the most amazing time. Spent a few days in Madrid and then the last half of the trip in Barcelona. We also took a day out into the Catalonian countryside and it was just one of the top travel experiences of my life. So before going there, I had done research and I saw that Spain has some incredible vintage and thrift stores. So I wanted to allocate my shopping souvenir budget from tchotchkes over to cool thrifted clothes. So I'm gonna show you guys all the finds that I got during this trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today's video, we also have a sponsor. Huge shout out to Audible. If you guys have not heard of Audible, it is seriously the best resource for all things audiobooks. I love using Audible when I'm traveling because it just helps pass the time and I'm able to tackle books that I normally don't have time to read to completion. But you can listen anytime, anywhere, on any device. And my personal favorite books are self-help books. Right now I'm listening to The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Jeremy uses Audible on the daily whenever he's driving to school or walking the dog or doing chores. He loves plowing through so many different sci-fi books. So there's tons of genres to dive into. So if you guys are interested in trying Audible today, go to www.audible.com backslash Miss Louie or text Miss Louie to 500 500 and start listening with an exclusive 30-day free trial plus one free audiobook of your choice and two audible originals absolutely free i'll include all the details down below in the description box and on that note Let's get back into the video. Big disclaimer, you guys. I am so freaking tone deaf, horrible at languages, so you guys have to forgive me if I butcher or just mispronounce any of the Spanish words today. Like, I am so sorry. <laughs> Starting off with the finds from Madrid, I visited five different stores and picked up an item from each one. We were staying in an Airbnb right next to the Plata Mayor, and right behind our Airbnb was this adorable vintage shop. I think it's actually a chain, because I saw several different locations. But this is from a vintage clothing shop called Mayo. I was already in a sweater mood because fall was coming and I just absolutely fell in love with this feminine sweater. This one is a sleeveless, almost like cap sleeve style sweater. It's got such an 80s vibe. I immediately thought of Nancy from Stranger Things. I think this is something she would totally wear. I loved where the scallop edging along the sleeves and also the neckline. It reminded me of like a little dollhouse. And then the front has almost like an open weave pattern to it. It's got like a flamey, triangular, geometric type of 80 pattern pattern and the back of the sweater is completely solid. Very substantial perfect quality sweater and I thought it was a really great steal for 12 euros. Item number two, this is a beautiful rich brown button down blouse. I got this at a store called La Musaraña and I saw it on our way back from Retiro Park. I thought this was so perfect for the upcoming fall season. This color is like on my power color swatch and on top of that, it's got the structure of a typical button down blouse but it's got a little extra zhuzh because the fabric is actually gathered right up here along the shoulder and then you have a voluminous balloon sleeve. So I love how trends just kind of recycle themselves like throughout history. And puff shoulders and balloon voluminous sleeves are really in right now. So having a vintagey thrifted shirt that's just like right on trend right now, I just think it's so fantastic. It even has extra gathering in the back. So it has a very billowy, kind of a bohemian spin on a typical button down blouse. It's got these beautiful matching glossy brown buttons to them. And I just think it's a perfect find that's just right up my alley in terms of my style. All right, so our next three items are from like the same area. I wanted to visit the Malasagna neighborhood because I saw that there was like a big cluster of vintage and thrift shops there. So this first one was literally one of the coolest thrift stores I've ever been to. It was a store called Amores Eternos. This woman is just like the vintage queen. She has all of her items separated by decade. This chick was so legit. She's done costume work with Penelope Cruz, worked on a Netflix film. I mean, it was just so cool. Her pieces were so high quality and unique and you could just tell she just loves what she does. So I really wanted to buy something from her shop and I found this blouse. Of course I picked something basic as hell from her shop. What really drew me to this top was the neckline. It's got this completely unique neckline that's asymmetrical with these nice matching fabric buttons and then the actual front of the top has this almost like handkerchief bandana type of collar. It feels so western and different and I just absolutely loved it. Actual blouse 
blouse is textured, almost like a placé type of fabric. And then it's entirely covered in little like Swiss dots and additional floral embroidery on the chest that kind of cascades down organically. Simple like plain white blouse, but ooh, a little something extra. I also asked her what era this was from and she said it was the 70s, which is like my favorite era of fashion. So that just solidified the purchase even more. If you guys are in the neighborhood, you guys have to check her out, okay? All right, so I think just a couple blocks down, I went to this shop called Miss Vintage Selected Trends, and this was the cutest little girly shop. It was just a little hole in the wall, but it was decorated so perfectly and cute and feminine, and I picked up something very cute and feminine for their shop, these cute pink shorts. I love shorts like these because it's really high-waisted and cinched and then very kind of loose in the leg so it kind of gives me the hourglass illusion and this just fit the bill in terms of that silhouette this one is just a simple muted dusty pink pair of high-waisted shorts with some simple pleating in the front I cuff them so they look a little bit, little bit more proportionate with my legs and then it's got no pockets on the back just very cute and preppy kind of feels like a lightweight pair of chinos I thought these were so precious and also like so fitting with the store's aesthetic fifth and last item from Madrid I got this top from a really big vintage store called Magpie Vintage. Oh, they had so many great stuff in there. This top is just so, I mean, even Jeremy was like, why are you buying that top? I love this top. This is a funky vintage striped like 80s shirt. I don't know why I love this color palette so much, but I just love the mustardy browns, earth tones. And then the actual neckline, it's got an asymmetrical feel to it. Totally reminded me of something that would come out of the show, The Americans. If you guys watch the show, Paige is wearing this gray like jacket that she kicks that guy's ass in in the bar. I just like was like, oh, that kind of looks like that. But if it was pinstripe from a circus. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was a really unique top that just really spoke to me creatively. I thought it was a really fun, funky steal. All right guys, moving on to my last three items. These are all from the same thrift store from Barcelona or Barcelona. Anyway, amazing thrift stores over there too. I actually just fell in love with one store in particular called Olala and I picked up three items from there. There was this beautiful saleswoman there and I was just so enamored by her. And she picked out things that I would never ever pick out and one of those things was this blazer. She gave this to me and she was like, yes, you need to have this. And I was like, yes, yes I do. <laughs> <laughs> this blazer looks like it was made out of a grandmother's couch fabric, but for some reason, with the structure of the blazer and these really pop-in shoulder pads, it screams cool and 80s and just something very unique. So I thought this would be just a fabulous addition that looks nothing like anything I have. I love the pastel color palette of this blazer. A super cool, unique find that could definitely whip out in the spring or summer. Really cool. Moving on to the next item. This is actually something I was actively looking for while I was in Spain. I saw that a lot of the thrift stores had these large collections of French striped shirts, t-shirts, long sleeve, boat neck tops, cardigans, sweaters, brenier, is that how you say it? <laughs> The Breton stripe is so synonymous to French fashion and originally the French Navy would wear this classic stripe pattern and it just slowly integrated with the civilian wear. So I found this sweater that was a perfect mix of incorporating this classic French stripe pattern but also something that is wearable and so cozy. This is a full neck zip down cardigan sweater. I love that it's not a full stripe from top to bottom. You have this nice like contrasting bold color block action and the stripes wrap around all the way 360 on both the torso and the arms. I just thought it was the perfect medium weight. Great find for 25 euros. All right guys, in our final piece of today's haul, I got one pair of pants. This is a pair of almost like soft denim trousers from a Italian brand called New Claro. It's got this amazing like branded back panel that is literally a piece of metal nailed in there with a piece of leather. I thought it was just so cool. Olala had this big rack of like all these different colored jeans and trousers. So I wanted to pick one up and I've just been really into the earth tones lately. So I love this muted khaki color, something different that I don't have. And it's really nice and high waisted, loose in the back seat, kind of like a mom jean. I just thought this would be a fabulous addition to my fall and winter wear and just something different to break up all of the different blue jeans that I have. Super cute and flattering. Will look really great with this simple black top. All right, you guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you guys like the change up of doing something thrifted than purchase. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you're having an amazing fall out there and I'm just sending you so much love. Have an amazing rest of your week and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye!